Hello community! Today we explore Claude 3 Opus, the biggest and best new model. And what we're gonna do? We have a simple task. Do causal reasoning. So here we go. And let's have a look at the answer. Okay, here comes Claude 3 Opus. And yes, beautiful. Is now trying to answer here a logical causal reasoning question. The answer is false. There's no definitive information to conclude that Alice is whoop, and this is wrong. This is factually the wrong logical answer. Now, if you ask, where is this logical task from? This is here, the task that I showed you from Stanford University. And if you want to see here the complete video, LLM hit a wall, there you find exactly here my first task. And of course, we use here the latest LLM available, March 4. So yesterday we have from Anthropic Claude, you know, Anthropic is sponsored here with billions from with Google and Amazon money. And they introduced here three models and we go with Claude 3 Opus. The most intelligent model, the best in market performance in highly complex tasks. And this is what we need. I say clear history, that nothing happens here. Claude 3 Opus. We give it a second example. So let's see what Claude makes now out of this. Okay, here we are. Claude 3 Opus. Yeah, step one, step three, rule, fact, rule, fact, beautiful. And now you see there's no other rule or fact that can be used to determine is if Alice is Joan. And the answer is false. So, as you can see, Claude's three opus failed in both logical task and in both tasks provided the wrong factual answer. So, how was my task structured? I have logical rules. Those are words that do not exist in the English language. Those are just logical symbols. Then I have facts. For example, Alice is condition one, Alice is condition two, and then I have a query. And the query is simple is Alice condition 17. So you see, running through all the logical rules, given the facts, the query is clearly solvable. So, if this is not working here, what we do? I now thought about how to use instruction to solve the task. So I do not just say, hey, Claude 3 Opus solve the task, but I give you instruction. So I, as a human, am now here, I'm using my own intelligence, and I tell you exactly what to do. So the complexity of the task for Opus reduces significantly. And after about half an hour, I came up with this idea. I say, lay out all given facts and not infer any new information without explicit logical connections. Then apply each rule methodologically, ensure that the implications are valid only in the direction of the rule specifies, consider each rule's prerequisite before applying them, and note any circular dependencies. Keep track of all inferences made at each step to avoid repeating the same deductions or missing out on any implications. Evaluate every possible path that could lead from the known facts to the query in question, ensuring that all paths are either followed to a logical conclusions or shown to be dead ends. And finally, if a rule leads to multiple inferences, like I experienced this now in the, my last three hours here, branch out the deduction into separate path and follow each one to its own conclusion. So after three hours, I found that if I use this set of instruction to exactly tell my LLM what to do, so to reduce the complexity for my LLM, this is the way it should be. So you see, my new instruction prompt to solve the task here with Claude 3 Opus is now in the following. I have here the instruction exactly telling the machine what to do. And then I have here again the task, the rules, the facts, and the query. So you see, 
Now the machine has a lot less logical analysis and a lot less logical complexity to solve. It just needs to run through these points. And to make sure that these points are really understood by Opus, by Claude 3 Opus, I ask Claude 3 Opus to, after I've inserted this, to come up with the perfect prompt. And this is now the perfect prompt returned by the machine. So, it goes, I have a series of facts and conditional rules for which I need to deduce the truth of a specific statement. It's a complex logical puzzle. Good idea to tell the machine what is the task. It requires meticulous and exhaustive analysis. Please proceed as follows to ensure the accuracy of the deductions. And then here, uh, a list, one to seven, apply this methodology to the following facts and rules. So here we are back now here, and I have now here this methodology that I deducted, and this is now the instruction. And now just the only thing I have to do is simply add the facts, add the rules and the query. So let's have a look that you see what we've done. This is my instruction. This is here the list what we have to do, apply this methodology, and then I have here the rules, and then I have the fact, and here we go. And now you see live here, Claude 3 Opus, the biggest, the best from Anthropic. Is it now able to solve it? Since I have given it the absolute perfect way how to solve it, I've given it all the logical instruction. It just needs to execute. It does not need to find. Oh my God, we are unable to determine whether Alice is rope or not. And this is again the wrong thing to do. I tell you something, let's do a regenerate. So this was one out of three. This is now two out of three. Okay. At least it follows the instruction to tell you if it's a fact or a rule. And now we have it. Answer. The answer is true. Since we can infer that Alice is Wope. Now, this is the correct answer, but was the way to come to the correct conclusion the right way, or was some fact or some rule hallucinated, not to say invented by the system, like with JetGPT? Therefore, here is the solution for you. And if you compare the solution to the given answer, you see it is correct. And here we are now with my beautiful prompt. And now we add to them here the second logical task. And let's see what our Claude 3 Opus comes up with as a solution. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's thinking, okay, shows us what is a fact and what is a rule. We can infer that Alice is Joan. This is the correct answer. So now the second test here was solved correctly. Now let's explore here Claude's re sonnet. You know, here we are with my first logical task. Let's have a look if Sonnet is able to solve this task. And we are asking, is Alice Wope? Now you know this by heart. And it says, the answer is unknown. This is wrong. This is factually the wrong answer. But we did not expect anything else. But now you know what? Now we just jump here. Two of the correct solutions. So, and I now put in my beautiful prompt that sometimes worked. And then we also insert here all the rules. So, now let's see if with my instruction we can solve task number one. As you can see, okay, goes on, goes on, goes on. Beautiful. We are running, we are running. Okay, running. Wow, this is now definitely different. Okay. Okay.
Hey, explanation of the logical journey. Now this is nice. This is something nice. Alice is Wope. This is the correct answer. Alice is Wope. Now, to analyze if the logical analysis was correct, we have to look at an explanation. And now suddenly we see if Sonnet was able to come up with the correct solution given my beautiful instruction prompt. So this system is so stupid, you just have to give it here the instruction how to solve your task. So here this, you see the logical solution and let's compare this now with the argumentation. And here we have it. Now look at step six. The rule if shade and child then bope, this is the wrong rule. Sonnet invents now rules, which is more or less a catastrophe. And this is the first time this happens. So on Claude 3 Opus, I never experienced until now that the rule was invented. So there you have it. This is really a delicate art if you design prompts, it helps the intelligence of the system to solve complex tasks with causal reasoning. However, please be extreme careful, especially for question and answer and logic prompts. It really depends on the environment. It depends if you go for ChatGPT4 or if you go for Claude 3, because you have to have really precision character setting. You have to employ special characters really carefully. You have to take into consideration command sequences. You have to structure for clarity. Maybe you use here XML notation that might help you here, especially here with Claude 3. So, you know, there's a lot of unsolved optimization that I could not explore at the very first day of working with Claude 3 Opus. But you clearly see the way you use a prompt and you integrate a lot of intelligence into the prompt to tell the system what it has to do. There's only a limited amount you can help a system if the system is not inherently able to solve this. So you can design a prompt what you want before, let's say, Claude 3 Sonnet starts to hallucinate. Your prompt has no effect at all. However, if systems are big enough, like GPT-4 Turbo, or maybe Claude 3 Opus, then there is a certain amount you can help the system with logical reasoning task. But I think also to a very limited amount. Or, and now to my subscriber, am I wrong? And you know what? Why not apply here ideas pi to find here an optimal prompt optimization? with a specific DSPI routine. Because maybe it is true that with prompt engineering, you can get more out of your large language model. Smile. I see you in my next video.